Today, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmwares to, uh, in the RC6GS and RC4GS. The upgrade, upgrading process is exactly the same between the RC4GS and RC6GS. I will take the RC6GS as an example. First, power, power on the RC6GS. You can check in the menu that the, uh, the firmware right now is V3.1.5. Now I'm going to upgrade it to the latest one. So turn off the RC60S and connect the RC60S with the USB cable of data, data transmission. And then and then let's download the firmware first. First, you need to visit Radio Link website. And this is the new website of Radio Link. There are two, two ways to reach the firmware pages. First is go to the support and firmware download. Click to enter and then Go to the firmware of the RC6GS page. And you can find the firmware, all the firmwares available here. And there is another way to, to, to reach this page. First, go to the radio and then RC6GS. This is the second way. And then there's a firmware options here on the top of the page. Click to enter. And you can also enter the firmware of RC6GS. So now this is the latest firmware as it's displayed on the website. The V6.6, the V6.0.0. And you can see that there are two different firmwares. One is the with the Bing at the end, and one is the Mac at the end. The Bing, the Bing file is suitable for the Windows 7 or XP. And if your computer is Windows 8 or Windows 10, you need to choose the file with the Mac at the end. As my computer is Windows 10, so I'm going, um, I need the Mac file. Click to download and then open the file. File is here. So now, as the RC, RC6GS is connected to the computer with the USB cable of data, data transmission, power it on, and then there's a notice popping out saying that you need to format the disk. This disk is the RC6GS connected. So let's format the disk. Start, and there's a warning saying asking you to agree to format. The formatting will erase all data on the disk. That is the data in the RC6GS, not on your computer. So just click OK to format the disk. And once the format is done, it will pop, the notice will pop up to tell you that it's complete. So OK, and then close it, and then we open the disk. And you can see that the disk, is, the disk is empty after the formatting. So we copy copy the firmware we just downloaded, the V6.0.0, and paste it in the, in the extra disk, which is the RC6GS. And uh, once it's pasted, it's done. And so now we need to disconnect the, we need to power off the RC6GS and disconnect it from the computer and then power it on. Let's check the menu. Enter the language and enter. And you can see that the firmware in the RC6GS right now is V6.0.0. And this is how the firmware is upgraded in the RC6GS. And the RC4GS is exactly the same.